The world is watching India keenly as India's moon mission enters the most critical phase. Chandrayaan-3 mission achieved another significant milestone in its lunar exploration journey yesterday. The lander module successfully underwent a deboosting operation, taking it closer to the moon. The lander module, comprising the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover, will undergo its second deboosting operation on August 20th. This will lower the module to an orbit that takes it much closer to the moon's surface. On August 23rd, the Chandrayaan-3 lander will begin its final descent to make soft landing on the lunar south pole, while the propulsion module, which separated from it on Thursday, will continue to orbit around the moon and study the Earth's atmosphere. After the Vikram lander touches down and the lunar dust sat settles, Pragyan rover will roll down from the Vikram lander, then the lander will take the images of the rover and vice versa. Hello and welcome to this special broadcast. India is counting down to that big historic move moment as far as space research is concerned. And to discuss that, to share their joy, Space and Technology Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh here with us. Sir, uh, India is excited. We are all counting down to that moment when we touch down the South Pole uh, off Moon. But you must have been speaking to our scientists in ISRO. How's the Josh? No, absolutely, absolutely. And as you rightly said, India is excited. But what is, I think, uh, the best part of it and what is peculiar about this uh, mission is that uh, while India, of course, for obvious reasons, every Indian feels proud and also uh, is, is taking it as, as, as something which is going to enhance his uh, prestige and esteem. But the matter of fact is that actually the entire world is now looking up to Chandrayaan mm -hmm. and uh, they have a lot of expectations. So, there is a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of uh, uh, inquisitiveness, a lot of curiosity because this Chandrayaan series is known to uh, get home inputs which are quite exclusive, which have not been obtained by the earlier missions and that has been the record even with the Chandrayaan 1. We discovered the evidence of the presence of water molecules uh, uh, through spectrometry, uh, which was something new even for the American scientists. Uh, even though they had already landed a human being on the surface of the moon way back in 1969. So, this time as you rightly said, the, the location of this landing is absolutely virgin toward the South Pole, most of the earlier missions have landed close to the equator. So, this is a rather unexplored terrain, maybe slightly difficult terrain as well, but which offers greater avenues and a greater and a larger room for experimentation, both in the terms of the presence or otherwise of uh, water and its ingredients like hydrogen, oxygen, which have some kind of a direct or incorrect uh, uh, relationship with the compatibility or possibility of human habitat or human life. So, that makes it quite interesting and I would rather say that this is Chandrayaan which for the first time uh, led the world or prompted the world to find scientific answers to the mysteries which had haunted us all the you know through the generations. Uh, it was it is a matter of faction, fiction looking up to moon and imagining if there were people living over there and then literature, poetry, cinema, fantasizing that. Yes. So, for the first time it was Chandrayaan which prompted the scientific world to actually discover scientific answers this way or that way. So, I think that is a huge breakthrough. Sir, but for a layman, if you could help us understand, our people in, in villages, in small towns, they all know that, you know, this is a big moment for India's space research. But how is this going to benefit the common Indian? Why should he or she be excited? You see, there are a number of reasons. Of course, broadly speaking, some people say, what happens if it goes there or how does it help us? A, that this is a multifactorial uh, implication. The outcomes are going to be multifactorial. And under Prime Minister Modi, the manner in which the space department, like many other departments, has been opened up, you know, to all these stakeholders. I mean, for example, could you imagine till a few years ago, now we had about more than a thousand media persons watching the launch inside the premises, whereas till a few years ago, they were even forbidden from uh, peeping inside the gate. of So, Prime Minister Modi has done one good thing and that's, that has enabled us to find a milieu where we could give vent to all our resources, our aptitudes, our talents. And therefore, when today uh, space economy is another, you know, emerging area, 
even by the by means so far even by the means of launching of the european satellites we have earned more than about uh, 250 million euros or so and likewise uh, from the american satellites so we are now launching satellites of the country which had actually launched themselves in the space much much more before much uh, several years before us yes. so that is one part the second part is that now under prime minister modi since in the last 9 10 years india has assumed a global role and the acceptability of that global role has also occurred well, till about a decade back, we were not taken seriously, whether it was space science, whether it was clean energy, whether it was climate. These were newer or recent issues and India was considered to be alien to them or maybe didn't have the capacity or aptitude to address these issues. Now we are taking a lead. Prime Minister talks about climate in COP meetings. He talks, he, he lays down the net zero target for 2070. And likewise, when he goes to Washington, D.C., it is the American side which makes the offer for any Indian star to accompany to the space station. So India not only has assumed a global role, it has now been accepted as a global player, rather a global leader. So what we gather from all our experiments and inferences is actually uh, going to be uh, looked forward to by the rest of the world. So that is A, because you have to have an esteem, you have to have acceptability, you have to have the, the, the acceptability of the nation's leadership by other kind. So that is what is going to be reformed, reiterated by a mission like Chandrayaan. A, B, in the times to come, and this has happened in the last eight, nine years of the Modi government, space technology is not only limited or confined to the launching of rockets, though this makes a good optics, yes. it makes a good imagery and you know, it fantasizes all of us and gives us a sense of pride and excitement. But besides that, space technology in the last few years has entered every Indian household. And it has been very appropriately used by this government. Whether it's uh, telemedicine, uh, which you saw during COVID, whether it's uh, digital health, whether it is uh, agriculture, uh, whether it is uh, uh, the, the soil health card, uh, whether the construction of the smart cities, laying down of the rail tracks, uh, uh, Swamit program, yes. which yes. revolutionized the entire mapping, the geospatial power. So the entire economic and infrastructural culture also has undergone a change and launching of Chandrayaan is one aspect of that whereas the reflection of it is happening everywhere else. So it is going to be a very important contributor to the economy of India in the years to come and as Prime Minister keep talking about Avrit Kal 25 years, so in the next 25 years I, I think one of the areas for me the value addition to the economy would come will be the space uh, technology besides of course our ocean resources which also remained unexplored by the earlier governments or our Himalayan resources like the Roma resources. So these are some of the unexplored areas which are also going to have a huge bearing on the economy of India on the ease of living of a common citizen by means of all those infrastructural uh, technological uh, means which were not hitherto put to optimum use and overall it will uh, lead to a better socio-economic uh, status as well.